Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast with John O'Leary. We're going to begin this first Monday of August with a quote from the Dalai Lama who wrote, Just as ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into water, the actions of individuals can have far-reaching effects that can change the world. We all know that's true. Well, my friends, a small drip coffee and a blueberry muffin. This was the order placed at a Starbucks by a gentleman named Jim. It did not seem like he had many friends. It did not seem like he had a big family. He lived alone across the street from the coffee shop in a retirement home. Every afternoon at 2 o'clock sharp, Jim would walk across from his apartment, walk in with a big smile on his face, and then place that same order. I'll take a small drip coffee and a blueberry muffin, please. There was a short interaction between Jim and the baristas working. They would, of course, thank Jim for coming in. They'd offer him a compliment or two, a good-natured criticism of his beloved Philadelphia Eagles. This was Southern California, by the way. Then they'd tell him that they'd look forward to seeing him tomorrow. In other words, they would simply be kind to a gentleman who frequently felt alone. These baristas would do one additional thing before handing Jim his coffee and blueberry muffin. They would write a short note of encouragement on it. It wasn't much. They would write a favorite quote sometimes, an affirmation sometimes, or an acknowledgement that they were simply grateful for Jim. Jim would collect his items, thank the baristas, and then walk back to his retirement home by himself. It was just a momentary visit. But the baristas grew to love their daily visitor, and Jim clearly loved them. When Jim failed to show up one day, a barista walked across the street to check on him. The receptionist shared that Jim had passed away over the weekend. Although these Starbuck baristas only knew Jim through their momentary interactions with him, every one of their hearts broke when they learned the news. You see, Jim was part of their family. The following morning, a family member entered into the Starbucks store and invited them to the memorial service taking place the following afternoon. As humbling as it was to simply be invited, it was what they saw entering the facility that caused them to literally lose their breath. In this room, with just a few family members and a few friends gathered, were three large round tables. These tables were stacked high with old Starbucks cup sleeves, and handwritten notes on each one of them. Jim may not have received a lot of visitors. Jim may not have received a lot of mail, but every single day he received a simple love letter from his friends across the street. And after finishing the muffin or finishing the coffee, he would then add the new sleeve to the stack that reminded him of the love others felt for him. Writing a simple note on a bag offering a little encouragement on a cup, looking people in the eye, seeing someone as unique, as worthy, as important as an individual. This all seems so small, so insignificant, so little. But for Jim, it was a reminder that he mattered, that he fit in, and that there were people in this world who loved him. My friends, hear this loud and clear. In a marketplace that so frequently feels disconnected and isolated, all too often we view our jobs, our tasks, even life itself as being insignificant. We forget the incredible power and possibility we possess through doing little things well with love to elevate the lives of those around us each day. So today on this day, be reminded of the magnificent power of your life to influence change for good. It turns out, regardless of our age, our status, or our job title, that the ripple effects through our actions truly do have the ability to impact lives around the world, across the street, and sometimes across the aisle. Now, not sure where to start? Start with the reflection in the mirror. It's a great place to start. Not sure when to start? Let's start today. My friends, I want to thank you for being part of our Live Inspired Together community. And if you want to learn more about how I first heard about that story, you can cruise on over with me to episode 378. That's the time that I had the opportunity of sitting across having a coffee with my friend, 
Howard Bihar. He's the retired president of a little coffee shop you may have sipped on some of their coffee before. It's called Starbucks. During his leadership, during his time there, he saw the store, the company, grow from a couple dozen stores to more than 15,000 around the world. How did they do it? He did it by reminding his people that they weren't in the business of serving coffee. They were in the coffee business to serve people with love. It's an important reminder for baristas. It's a great idea for all of us in our community today. So coffee drinkers and non-coffee drinkers alike for this time. And until next time, my name is John O'Leary. Today is your day. You matter. What a gift. Live inspired.